All right, you guys. Final piece in this testing equipment stuff that I wanted to get to learn on and to do some projects with. Got the oscilloscope, function generator, and I've got me an actual lab power supply instead of my homemade one, which is not adjustable. And the 12 volt output on that is only showing 11 something, so it's time to upgrade. Some great, uh, good packaging here. It's got all sorts of chunks of styrofoam and things going on. Good job on the packaging. This, that's the. I wish I, I wish everybody did this. Heavy stuff can bounce around and really bust things up. So, this guy knows what he's doing. And I will save this stuff too. I don't like. I don't throw away my packaging. Saving it all up for my eBay store. Got like four different kinds of bubble wrap. Styrofoam and... Alright, let's get out of the power supply. It looks good. Or it looks like what I ordered anyway. Pouch. Camera going, yes. Oh cool, he sent some uh, some leads. Alright. Heavy. Oh boy, like really heavy. <laughs> A little on the grungy side, but Saved me some money, so it's a good deal. It's got the just had a little bit of sun. You can see the yellowing on this piece here. Oh, I see they're attached. Okay, freaking cool. All right. Ouch. Instec, is that how you say that? Instec power supply, Instec um, function generator. Elongator clippies. Max 600 volts. Let's put out DC, I believe, the maximum of 18 volts. I like the feel of that. All right, there it is. I love the look of it. This thing is heavy duty. This is not cheap China. This is this is quality equipment right here. For only 30 bucks less, you can get the cheap Chinese stuff and it is just nowhere near this quality. Not even close. This thing is heavy. It's got a steel, pretty thick steel case. All the buttons and knobs click and rotate real nice. It's just got a little yellowing from the sun. This all kept its gray quite nice. A little yellowing on those screw plugs. It's got volts, amps. This is freaking cool, you guys. Oh, and it's so heavy. Every time I pick this up, I'm just amazed. It's big old cooling fins. It's interesting, you can set this up with a remote. Use this as like a master and slave setup for something somehow. Alright, display is good. Oh, that's so nice. One volt. So we go straight to zero and just, just go by, by a hundredth of a volt. That is so awesome. What do we got here? Amps. 
a little high. Hmm. Might not show me amps until I have a load on it. Just went into my LED bin and found this thing. It's a 10 millimeter. I think it's red in color. Uh, LED. So volts are really low, current low. All right, let's crank this up. Make sure we got the uh, power output. I'll go up one volt at a time. Oh, there we go. 1.6 volts. 1.8 volts. Let's not go up too much higher than that. I don't want to fry my LED. All right, you guys, cool. Got my getting my stuff all figured out. All my testing equipment and it's gonna be really handy with projects. GW Instech Function Generator Instech Power Supply Model PS-1850D Let's see if it This is great. I can't wait to start making stuff. It's like it was meant to be. Stay tuned. Lots coming up. Have a good day. Just got in some uh, new leads for my stuff, for my test equipment. From the mail. And uh, I like it. These are actually really nice. A lot heavier than I was expecting from uh, China. A little bit nicer cables. Uh, anyway, yeah, some banana jacks, two alligator clips, and to the, uh, I forget what these are called, but um, just to make things a little easier connecting to. I love these banana jacks. This reminds me of OMSI. First time I ever played with these, actually probably the last time I ever played with these. And OMSI, and I was just a little kid, probably knee height. I was fascinated with that. They had like little circuits on the, on the like there's like tables set out with circuits that ran fans and would do different things. And these were out and you could switch things around and make it do different stuff. And yeah, OMSI kind of spurred on my passion for electronics and wanting to learn more. So that's what this is all for. Just learning more about electronics and how to make stuff. Also got a BNC to BNC mail so I can hook up the oscilloscope to the function generator and see visually more uh, uh, better what's going on. Another cheapo. This one actually has that cheap feel to it. These not so much. I like these. These are a nice set. Got a little box too that's storing a lot of the oscilloscope stuff and like the probes and these clips will probably go in there. And yeah, we can hook up the function generator to the oscilloscope. Yeah, it's not the worst cable. It's just it was like five bucks off Amazon. It's pretty pretty cheap. this on a oh, little bit of a buzz there let's try changing the frequency ha <laughs> neat so you can see the pulses or the noise frequency whatever you call that Here's a much slower pulse here at uh, 10 hertz. It's 
going up and down from zero volts to whatever that is, two volts. It seems to be off though. I think, right? So that would be zero volts. Uh, we're at a 0.5 volt scale, so... Make it speed up. And what is this, a square wave? Let's go to a triangle. That's your triangle wave, and then uh, be a sine. Pretty similar to triangle, but uh, less sharp of a uh, movement there. Let's increase the frequency on that. There we go. Now we can see a pure sine wave there. Or sine wave, I don't know if it's... I'm so used to inverters and calling them pure signs. Pure sine waves. Increase the frequency. Increase the volume, or the output. Or the, uh, yeah, the output. Fun. Oh my gosh, this is great. be a sine wave going positive and negative uh, however many volts that is now what else I can do here volt me Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah. Fun. I am accomplishing absolutely nothing, but I am 100% enjoying myself right now. Very cool. Oh, there's that triangle wave. Oh, I've always wanted these things. I got my books out too for learning. I even started reading a little bit. I'm just gonna start over the basics. I got the went to Radio Shack and um, you know my dad and other people got me books when I was growing up. I never did good in school, but I was always good with reading my books and teaching myself. So I get getting started in electronics. Uh, I got that at Radio Shack. And then I got uh, at the same store, Radio Shack, I got a parallax kit, which is more kind of, more for schools. It's thicker, it's got teacher, like, uh, like, little learning, um, like, like a worksheet sections in there, whatever you call that. Like, it, it looks like it's set up for a school, and I've, I've read that as well. This is more home consumer, a lot cheaper than this, too, even though this is a really awesome book that came with it, Parallax. And it had a homework board. You can kind of see it there. Half of it, anyway. It had a breadboard built into it. There it is. With a 9-volt battery, a little clippy. And uh, I'm going to have to go through that, too. I don't really want to skip ahead to the Arduino. I got this first. You can see my, I've marked my spot years ago, though. So I'm going to... Oh, wait, no. That's marking the beginning of the uh, the book. Um, but, yeah. It teaches you how to program... Uh, high, pause, low. Okay, so that's, like, turning on and off and a yellow LED so high pin 13 pause for 500 milliseconds and then low 13 so high is on low is off pause 500 next is uh you know next piece of the code or the uh um the basics the p the thing's called p basic so yeah code or um There's proper terminology to that is. But yeah, you see I've gone through this pretty good. I was having so much fun with this. Um, I was even writing it, doing math, just basic stuff. But um, geez, yeah, a lot of fun. Haven't even touched this one yet. I want to get through the parallax first. The code, I think it's pretty similar. 
uh, the P-Basic in the Arduino language. So I'm going to finish the Parallax. I, I mean, I spent the money on it. I want to get through it. And this book is really good. I'm just having a lot of fun. I'm about to get into, yeah, the uh, I programmed a seven-segment LED display. Mm, measuring light. Yes. Gosh, there's so much to go through on this. But I'm almost there. I'm toward the end of the book. i to learn about how to make uh, music tones, signal tones. and Oh, boy, this is going to open up a world of projects. i got some ideas for the RV, too, in the future. Right now, it's just learning and having fun. A lot's coming up. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.